everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to do a remodel. I know a lot of the homes that I do on my channel are original designs, but I wanted to redo the kids party house. Um, I really actually like the layout in my home. There are a few rooms upstairs and one downstairs that I'm unsure about, but I do love the big great room area. I know I can do a lot with that and um, you'll just have to see how it turns out. So now I have emptied it out except for the bathrooms. I've left those alone for right now. Um, but I've taken all of the furniture out. I have um, emptied off the patio. And I know I'm going to have to change some windows because they're not really lined up well and some of them don't match. But I do have some ideas. And as you can see here, I have a good start on the kitchen. Um, again, everything is empty upstairs. I'm going to leave the balcony there um, and leave this open to this beautiful great room. I'm going to do blacks, whites, and pops of color. So here is the finished house. And as you can see, I've taken all of those flower beds except for a few out of the front and then I've redecorated those. I just thought it was just uh, too much out there. And here is what I've done to the patio, which you'll get a better look at in a moment. So let's go on a tour and go inside. And as you can see, that room that just had a bookcase and a couch, I have repurposed as a fitness area. And you can see my sim working out there. And the only thing I did to it was put a door to the bathroom over there, but I did leave the laundry room the way it was. I changed um, the bathroom only to put that door there. And I think I put the towel bar in it for the uh, fitness room. The foyer is pretty much the same. This room I have used as a formal living room that is accessible here from the entryway. Um, it's more of just a formal living room where you would entertain guests and I've gotten one of those black staircases out of an architect home. So that's just a room you would come and relax in with guests or you can read. There's some bookcases there on the corners. So then, either from the entryway or the living room, you can go into this big great room. And as you saw a sneak peek from earlier, I'm using blacks and whites, um, grays, with pops of bright color. And I just love the orange against the black. So I have put the um, orange flowers, some orange rugs. Um, I even like the coffee table there because it's got the orange, we've got orange lamps, just enough to put some pops of color throughout the room without overdoing it. So that's the great room area where a lot of people can sit and watch TV by the fire there. There's a little reading chair. I really like how that turned out. And here is the patio area where I have put a barbecue, I've put a nice seating area, I've changed the flower beds, which by the way, I absolutely love the new plants they've given us lately and how you can change the base of the flower beds. And there was just a little eating area over there. So that's an overview of the downstairs. So when we go up, I've repurposed this, put the stairs in this room and it comes up into a home office with bookshelf, desk, um, reading lamp, a place to sit down. And I've put a hallway here instead of it just being a little empty space, which leads out onto the balcony. And I've decorated it nicely with a black table, a painting, flowers, candlesticks. I think it turned out beautifully. And let's see, where shall we go next? By the way, I love that black balcony. I'm kind of wondering if we can save that in our inventory. I didn't even try because I just kept it in this house. But if you go in this door from the balcony, you go into the little guest room where I've put a stereo, an accent wall there along the bed wall, which I think looks really pretty with that kind of furniture. And I think these dark gray floors are my favorite. And it has an ensuite bath where I've just hung some herbs up there and brought the greens out in there. 
And then if you go back along the balcony, you come into the master bedroom, which again, I don't change the layouts on these remodels, so it ends up being a very small master bedroom. But hey, it works. It has your bed, nightstands, and dresser. And I put a nice plant in the corner. And then we have a great walk-in closet. I can't remember what that room was to begin with, but it doesn't matter now. <laughs> And I did keep this as the master bath. I just remodeled it and put in um, new items in there. So that was the upstairs and how it ended up. And there's the downstairs. Let's take a look at nighttime. I've lit it up really nicely outside in the front. And of course the back and the side is, is the same as it was. But look at the patio outside. I took advantage of the um, the little lanterns as well as the ground lighting and I think it looks beautiful. That's probably my favorite part of the house on this one. So again on my channel uh, most of my videos are original designs but every now and then I do like to do a remodel. And um, I think they can be good to do, especially if you just don't feel like creating a, a brand new house from ground up. If you find one that's pre-made, that has a good layout, good structure, you can be really creative and redo it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Check out my other videos. And thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.